Why are these platinum producers some of the best in the world? What in their production makes them stand out from the rest? So in this video, I'm going to break down the different techniques they use to make their sound unique. Starting with Noah Fawlty, we all know his famous underwater effect, which creates a whole sense of space throughout his production, just like in Marvin's room. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna start kind of like my Fawlty likes to usually start with some pads and some keys. Favorite category to start in is always going to be like some form of keys, pianos, and pads. And to give it that underwater effect, I use this decimal to 7.7K and listen to the texture it creates. Now let's use that same technique with a high pass filter. Let's look at the wave graph and how different it is. Notice how that decimal completely cuts that signal, which essentially gives it that washed effect. But you can also do this with other sounds. Let's take this mini V simp, making sure the guide and legato are on, add in some noise to make that harsh texture. When applying this technique, it sounds like this. But you can even do this on drums. So I've chose this snare and downsampled it to around 2000. Look at the difference between the before and after, and this is how it all sounds. But a producer like El Angelo creates space using tricks to make atmosphere. I started with these synth chords, creating automation for a giant reverb that gives it that rising tension feel, which he uses a lot on the production of The weekend. But what he also likes to do is create FX groups in a way to keep it interesting. Here I've got the same patch, but just with the two notes and reversed it and made it a higher pitch. When adding a delay, it creates this fill. Then he also creates more atmosphere using a pitch delay. But to give sounds more purpose in the mix, I use this similar side chain and time stretching effect that he uses on his ARP sounds. But he also likes to manipulate vocals. So I've got this regular vocal that sounds like this. I say it's made to do the things I want to. When manipulating it with a half time, it sounds something like this. Then there's producers like DJ Dahi that likes to keep it simple, but layer with special textures. I see on one of his streams that he likes to put a lossy on his sounds. So I've done that on this piano and let's listen to the difference. Then I've layered this with the same sound, but pitched up, creating texture with this portal. But it also does this with layering guitar chords with a portal. But just like El Angelo, Dahi likes to use atmospheric sounds to create a unique texture. But he likes to use these random textures also to make a one shot. So I found this phone light sound and turned it into a one shot with the envelope, paired it with this outer space effect and it creates texture like this. Different producers have different ways of working with sound. Let's take Mike Dean for example. His production is heavy with synths, so he uses M3 for a bass. And I notice he likes to use automation for the cutoff frequency, but also likes to add a lot of distortion.
and he likes to keep it interesting by layering a lead on top. And he just adds arps and pads with different synths like the Jupiter. And it also talks about using the Portamento setting. Portamento, but it detunes as it slides. Notice how I created this automation for the last two notes and listen to how it sounds. But there is even more ways produced make themselves sound different to others. Let's take a look at Conductor Williams who produces a lot for West Side Gun. He just finds regular samples like this. and makes random chops to give it its own sense of groove. Then when adding drums, he likes to run them through vintage tapes to make them sound from this. To sound like this. But what makes him stand out and has similar techniques to Timberland is boosting the kick's low end. So I did just that. But speaking of Timberland with the song One in a Million, he took a regular whistle sound, give it an envelope with a short attack, then give it texture running it through something like Crystallizer, and it turns it into a unique hi-hat. And Timberland even goes a step extra with his drum sounds, creating drum and instrument sounds with his mouth like this. And when played together, it all sounds like this. 